Hey everyone, my name is Maya and I am the Allergic Chick. Welcome to my channel all about living with severe food allergies. If you're new here, I post brand new videos every Wednesday evening, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you're notified of any brand new content. I also share things on my social media platforms, so make sure to give me a follow at Allergic Chick. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about how epinephrine or adrenaline works to treat an allergic reaction. So for those of you who don't know, I've suffered from life-threatening allergies from the age of three, and I've been carrying EpiPens or adrenaline ever since then. And I realized quite recently that I don't actually understand what these pens do and how it is that they work to treat an allergic reaction. So I figured that other people might be in the same boat where they're carrying this medication, but they don't really understand how it works. So I thought I'd do my research on this and then share it with you guys. So adrenaline or epinephrine, as it's also called, is the first line of treatment for a very severe allergic reaction known as anaphylaxis. So when someone is suffering from anaphylaxis, um, their airways can tighten, their blood pressure can drop, along with a variety of other quite severe symptoms such as swelling and hives and vomiting and things like that, an anaphylaxis can be life-threatening. So if you are having an anaphylactic reaction, the first thing to do is to administer your EpiPen, your Jext, your Emeraid, or any adrenaline auto-injector that you may carry. So once you administer your adrenaline, it goes to act on your alpha receptors and your beta receptors. So let's talk about the alpha receptors first. So these alpha receptors are located on the walls of your blood vessels. So when you're having an anaphylactic reaction, your blood vessels go to relax and this causes low blood pressure, which is very dangerous. So when the adrenaline begins to act on these alpha receptors, it actually causes your blood vessels to narrow, which redirects blood to vital organs and stops your blood pressure from going too low. So that's how adrenaline affects your alpha receptors. Now let's go on to the beta receptors. So these beta receptors are found in your heart and your lungs. So when you're having an anaphylactic reaction, it can cause your airways to narrow and swell, which can make breathing incredibly difficult. So when adrenaline is acting on these beta receptors, it causes your airways to open and relax. It also makes your heart beat stronger and faster, which helps blood flow. So in summary, when you have an anaphylactic reaction and you use adrenaline, it acts on your alpha and beta receptors, making sure that your blood pressure isn't dropping too low and that your airways begin to open and relax. Remember that this is only an emergency treatment and that even after using your epinephrine or adrenaline, you need to go to the hospital and seek professional medical treatment, as you may need further observation and treatment. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you guys learnt something from it and found it useful. As always, please make sure to hit subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. Recently, I made some videos on how to use the EpiPen, the Emeraid and the Jext, as well as my top adrenaline tips, which are next to me here. Thanks again for watching and stay safe.